Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another motivating cleaning video. Today it's a mega motivating cleaning day. We are prepping to move soon. I honestly literally cannot wait to move out of this apartment. But to get moved out, we've got to do some sorting out, we've got to do some cleaning and get the place ready to move out. Now even though the current lease is until almost the end of October, I do think that there's probably a chance that we'll move out before then. And rather than leaving all the cleaning to the last minute and having to clean the apartment 100% from scratch, I thought I would get a head start and just start on some of the bigger jobs. Now even though this video is technically like a full day mega cleaning motivation video, I actually did this part of the stove clean the night before and then I popped the grills that go on the top of the gas stove through the dishwasher and finished it off the next day as you'll see in a minute. This little montage of me cleaning the stove is just literally too motivating and too satisfying to leave out of the video. Now by this time through the cleaning day, I had gone and taken the kids to school. I think I did a Pilates workout that morning and then came back. So it's already about 10.30. Gonna have to move Freddie, but I'm very sorry. Typically on cleaning days when I wash the sofa cushion covers, I usually try and take them off first thing in the morning and get them into the washing machine so that they can soak and do a really thorough long hot wash and then get them dried and obviously put back on the same day. Today, since I already had my sheets from my bed in the washing machine, we were a little bit later, but it's no big deal. I just popped them through the dryer and they were still able to be washed, dried and put back on in the same day. I do get loads of questions about having a white sofa and how hard it is to clean and maintain. This is an Ikea soda ham sofa. Sadly, they are in the process of discontinuing this white cushion cover color. I don't know why, it's so good, I really love it. And I've recommended it to so many people and I get so many like positive comments on how good it looks. Honestly, it is and it isn't a pain to clean. Because it is so easy to take the covers off, it's quite easy to clean. But yes, it is time consuming to pull off the covers of every single one. It's attached to the sofa frame with zips, so it kind of can be a little bit fiddly. But once you've done it a few times, you honestly get really good at it and it gets quicker and easier with each time you do it. In all honesty, it is just the thought of having to clean it, which is the most off-putting. But when you actually just get started and you start ripping off all the cushion covers, you're practically done before you know it. And then the washing machine takes care of cleaning it and then you pop it through the dryer or hang it out to dry in the sun and it is pretty much done within a couple of hours. Now that the covers are soaking in the washing machine, it is time to give the sofa frame a really good vacuum. You can get crumbs, you can get bits and pieces of who knows what down the sides, down the back seams. It's a really great opportunity to give it a nice thorough clean when the cushions are all removed. And it is amazing what a difference a clean sofa makes to the overall look of your lounge room and living space. So if you do have sofas that have removable cushion covers, this might be the motivation that you need to rip them off and pop them through the wash and get that sofa looking nice, clean and fresh, and it will sparkle up your living room like you won't believe. Stuck in the middle, so we climb the fence. 
One of the things that I was really keen to tackle was to get the big windows in the end of the living room, just giving them a nice clean over and clean out the tracks down below. This is something that can be really off-putting and time consuming when you're moving out. So I wanted to give them a quick clean over and just remind myself it doesn't take forever if you, especially if you use like a mop like I'm doing here. I just use a IKEA floor mop and some Dawn diluted dish detergents and use that to give them a clean. And as you'll see, I just use hot water out of the kettle and I just use Dawn and water to clean them and then squeegee it down. And they turn out really clean and it is very, very low effort. Yes, you do have to do a little bit of like a buff with a cleaning cloth after you finish squeegeeing if you want, like if you want to be really particular with them and make sure there's no lines and no marks. But honestly, this is a really quick and easy way to tackle those really big glass doors, glass sliding doors. I know it can be really off-putting and overwhelming. The thought of it, it can be really daunting because they are just so huge but trust me this way is super quick and easy and it only takes less than 10 minutes to do a big bank of windows like this If you are interested in seeing more detail about this particular IKEA cleaning tool that I'm using, I do have a whole video where I opened it, did first impressions and a review, and I really do like it, especially the floor mop. It interchanges and it's got a few different attachments which you'll see throughout this video as well, but I will leave the video that I did a specific review in about the, I think it's called a Peprig cleaning tool set, and I'll leave that in the description below. Now moving on to an area that really needed cleaning. This was something that was annoying me for the longest time and I just kind of kept putting it off. Again, because I build up in my mind that it's such a huge task when it always ends up that once you get stuck in and get started, it really doesn't take long. Honestly, the thing that takes the longest when I clean my house is setting up the camera to film it for YouTube and moving the camera around to make sure I get the shots in. The actual cleaning doesn't take that long. So I really wanted to give the outdoor balcony tiled area a nice clean. So I gave it a big sweep, moving the table so I can get that outdoor rug, also from Ikea, out and give a nice clean under it. This is again something that you really need to be particular about cleaning when you move out. And sometimes you can get, you know, stains from where you put outdoor pot plants and things like that. So I wanted to make sure that I kind of got on top of this before it got time to move out and just give it a nice once over so that in the next few weeks when we actually do move out, it's not as big of a job to get done. I got you buried deep in the back of my head. Cause you got all the answers. Honestly, so satisfying even for me to watch back while I'm editing. I hope it has motivated you guys to get stuck in and do something that you have worked up in your mind to be bigger than Ben-Hur. Get stuck in and get it done. It is not as bad as it seems. And once you get started, you're already half done. Just wrapping up the outdoor area by giving the outdoor table a quick wipe down. Ready for a nice barbecue dinner surprise later on that evening for the boys. 
And then it's back inside to do something that I haven't done in so many months, and that is to give my kitchen tiled floor. So the only tiles inside are in the bathrooms and ensuite, and in the kitchen and entryway. The rest of the house is carpeted here, which is one of the things I really do not like about this apartment. But something I haven't used for ages is my steam mop. So I decided to dig that out of the storage outside on the balcony and give the kitchen and entryway floors a nice clean over. And honestly, it is such a huge difference, like how it feels walking on the tiles with bare feet after you have cleaned it with a steam mop. I can't explain it. It is just, it feels super, super clean, clean. I really love this steam mop. I get lots of questions about it. It is by the brand Wertheim. I think this particular model has been discontinued because I can't find it to link it down below, but I really do like the brand Wertheim and I really like the triangular shaped head. So guys, that about wraps it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and seeing all of those big cleaning tasks that I got up to. It honestly feels so good to have some of those bigger jobs ticked off the to-do list, done and dusted, so that when it does come time to move, it won't feel like we are starting from scratch. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and take the time to give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out a lot and it doesn't take that long. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe before you go. Hang out and watch a few more videos. I'll leave some linked in the description that I think you'll enjoy. Have a fabulous day, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Freddy, excuse me, Freddy. Could you get off, please? Get off. Excuse me. Oh, Frederico. Goodness sake. Freddie, you definitely got your favourite spot, don't you? You got your favourite spot, don't you? Good boy. Ah, oh, what a good boy you are. What a good boy you are.